Well, get ready to break the internet, because here she goes. This is a North Point 383 FLFS, member of Jayco's Luxury Division here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and it lives up to every ounce of that name. Uh, keep in mind, the one we have in stock has some optional stuff on it. It may have a different decor uh, than what you see in this video. Uh, so the uh, you know video and the unit in stock may not be identical. So let's get dug in now that that's out of the way. Very few RVs in any category carry a two-year bumper to hitch warranty. This is one of them. Um, you know, Jayco, from every single thing they build from a pop-up to a motorhome, fifth wheel, and travel trailer, all have that double-length warranty. It's because they're just built better. They're built to last longer, and I can show you some ways where that's true as we go through here. The uh, North Point previous years was, uh, it, this really launched off the back of the Eagle Premier. Uh, you know, they did enough updates, they felt, man, we really need to give this thing a new name. If you're going to see things that are, uh, you know, in common a lot with its big brother Pinnacle, the, uh, you know, full high-gloss exterior skin here the handy little utility drawer in your uh, outside uh, compartment now this is a really handy way to keep like flashlights and screwdrivers and and uh, bug spray you know in an easy access location we do have a central vac which is located right here she is prepped for solar um, and this is a, uh, a, 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 a big basement here, so you can actually fit a lot of big cargo in there. It is starting to rain, so I'm going to have to kind of skip around the outside where I can. This over here, you could set like an outside TV, picnic table, something like that. You see that we do have an insulated upper deck floor. Your living room floor is insulated a second layer from what's insulated and forced air heated down here. So this does carry a 0 to 100 degree uh, rating. Uh, we do have automatic levelers. They have one of the largest front compartments in their class. This is something Jayco's Luxury Division is doing as a trademark. It's huge. It's awesome. All this extra space up here, all the extra battery space over here. You can fit four batteries in this thing if you're so inclined. And yes, it does have a disconnect. Um, she's not a small girl. You know, you need the right truck for it. Minimum heavy-duty three-quarter. And uh, that's why we uh, you'll find the Moride pin box on all of these. It marries together and works with your Moride tire suspension system. So that soaks up vertical. This soaks up horizontal jolts and gives you a smoother ride. We do have a fully painted nose cap. And you might see my hand in the photo. I'm trying to shield the uh, camera from the rain here because it decided to start coming down again. Uh, five slides. We've added the awning toppers to these. That is something we'll typically do. I can't guarantee we'll do it on all of them. Um, frameless windows are going to be standard on your north points to help hide those window seals. Bigger, badder, better water heater. Um, I love that they do this at Jayco. Their automatic leveling system has a little um, access panel right here. It's just easier to get to. You know, the driver's seat is right there. You don't have to get out, walk around the trailer. You don't have to dig out for keys and unlock this thing. It's just easier to find. And uh, we do have a fully enclosed docking station here. So that's one of the reasons it carries that zero degree rating is your gate valves are all enclosed. The cord reel here is something that we add in there. It's a manual crank, but it makes lugging around and, and managing that uh, big heavy 50 amp power cord so much easier. Uh, let's see here. Naturally, fully enclosed insulated forced air heated underbelly. That's one of the several different ways they achieve that zero degree rating. Um, Let's see, again, apologize for the rain. I may have to clip through the outside here a little bit faster than I prefer. I like the way of both door side and off door side security lights. And take a look at that roof line. You see how it actually wraps over the side wall up there? Um, that is a huge structural improvement from a right angle corner. I mean, ask anybody, radius corner is stronger. Ask the Romans, that's why their stone statues and, and structures are still standing. They just use smarter construction. One. 100% LED lighting inside and out, even LED markers. You see that uh, roof ladder up there to get up to a incredibly strong motorhome style constructed roof. The roof is built at ground level and hoisted into place like a diesel pusher. There's not a lot of guys in this class doing it that way. We passed a uh, rear bumper accessory hitch. Um, again, the rain coming down, I do need to get inside, although we are going to pass the quad aluminum entry step, which is great in the rain because you don't slip, and today is proof positive of that. I'm not just showing you, I'm demonstrating. And we do have a uh, keyless entry here so that you don't, uh, like, let's say you're going kayaking or tubing or something like that, or just going to ride a bicycle. You don't have to worry about, you know, where did I leave my keys, did they slip out of my pocket, etc. Right when you walk in, it's kind of a dark day, so it's easy to get to our lights here. They're, you know, your kitchen lights are right here, easily located. You have 
like multi-zone lighting. So your living room stuff is all right here in the living room. You have sofa lights, you have uh, main ceiling lights, all on their own little switches. So all lighting has its own little switch. Even little accent lights like this, bang. Even your dining table has its own little reading light. So let me back up here. I did not get a chance to check out the name of this color scheme, so pardon me for that. Um, I'll, uh, I'll definitely make sure we get that on our listing. But once again, keep in mind, uh, the unit that you see in this video may not necessarily be the exact one we have in stock. So let's just start here and start working around because, oh my gosh, do I have a lot to cover. I have to move really fast because I'm afraid my camera battery or trailer battery or something's going to die and I have a lot to cover. Um, you do not see the air conditioner. It says a whisper quiet AC system. That's what these air vent returns here are for. So you're only going to hear about 10% of the noise of that air system. And it does work that well. It really does. I love the motorhome style lighting up here. You also have two AC runs and you have double the LED lighting. Notice that the lights are even slightly yellowed because that's what human eyes are accustomed to. People don't like light. Uh, people don't like white lighting. It's hard on your eyes. You feel like you're in a doctor's office. It's cold. They... My point is, if they're willing to consider yellowing the LEDs, imagine the other amazingly detailed things they're thinking of in here. I love the raw iron looking um, uh, railing right here. And you've got the uh, the individual recliner chair set right on boardwalk and park place. You are going to be staring at this massive entertainment center. Yes, the TV is of course included. We have simply uh, removed it uh, before the time of this filming for storage purposes. Here is where they absolutely positively knock this thing out of the park. Twin opposing hide -a beds Tri-fold hide -a bed bi-fold hide -a bed with about a six inch gap in between. So if you need to scoot up there to get something when the beds are down, you can still do that. They don't quite kiss in the middle, but close enough. Storage ottoman down here. Um, and the, uh, you know, so that can, uh, perfect footstool or, you know, store the grandkids stuff in it. All windows open for ventilation. All windows open for ventilation. All your fascia. Real hardwood. Nothing's, uh, you know, cut down. This is a, a truly walk-around living room. Zero, zero headroom issues. Even when I'm standing all the way against the front of the trailer on my tiptoes, I can't touch the ceiling. I'm a tall guy. Um, your recliner right here has this perfect little stand next to it. Great to set a drink or something like that. But if you notice, you also have USB and residential outlets right there to keep devices charged. All of your windows are framed in with like a, a, a little driftwood accented type wood. Um, your uh, carpeting has padding under it. There's insulation under here. It's warm. It's comfortable. This is awesome. Your space heater down here. It looks like we call it a fireplace. It's an electric space heater so that you don't have to burn up your propane uh, that you know you have to pay for to replace when you've already bought the electricity from the park. It's right there. Take it. Enjoy. Your uh, entertainment, Furion, all-in-one, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, even has a microphone. If you want to take hands-free calls through your camper, you can. It's a North Point. It has the capability. We have the technology. Um, the uh, television, also Furion, gigantic uh, sucker, too. So it, it, it's, it's all higher-grade. Furion stuff is made for RVs. It's made to be bounced really hard. It's made to get really hot and cold without failing. This is what it's made for, guys. And I don't know if you've noticed... But all of your cabinetry is all hidden hinge as well. So when you do close it, it just has that smooth, seamless, gorgeous look. Um, let me uh, give you a quick little sweep around panoramic shot here. Outlets down there as well. Next to every single sitting or sleeping space, you will find outlets for devices. Or uh, in the case of sleeping, maybe CPAP machines or something like that. Everybody wins. Um, <clears throat> moving back here. Going uh, down the staircase, I'll give you just a, a big view of the, uh, the the middle kitchen space here. This is awesome. I love how big and tall and open this is. And it's one of my favorite parts of this floor plan is the way that every room is defined. It's very residential in that respect. Um, we have a gigantic refrigerator over here. So you have maximum hot cold storage, uh, gas and electric, by the way. And that's something that's awesome. This refrigerator is not only big, but it's gas and electric and still big. A lot of your big fridges are electric only, which is fine. But if you're going down the road, it, a lot of manufacturers are still not installing the proper inverter. So you don't get to really properly use it. The, uh, long story short, a lot of them just aren't built right. Give me a call and I'll explain. I don't have the kind of time in this video. Even under the stove, under the refrigerator, they still have drawers. They put every ounce of storage in this they can. Four drawers here. Massive pots and pan space under the sink, if you notice. Uh, these are all a gorgeous waterfall-edged uh, solid surface countertop. 
I, I mean, it's beautiful. Sink sprayer here pulls out. It is residential type. You can hear that's not, uh, you know, chintz plastic. Stainless steel undermounted sink. All the things, you know, these are not things you would uh, be surprised to find in a luxury fifth wheel, but I still want to point them out. You know, and if you're in if you're in the kitchen and you're cooking, you want to play music on your phone, you got the perfect charge stations for that too. Um, flipping around, there are two hideaway chairs that go with this dinette. This coach is obviously designed to be a couple's coach. So most of the time, you're just going to want the two seats here. When you want guests, this does have an extension right here. And there's two fold-away chairs that do match this decor uh, to pull out. And I love the flooring in here. I love, love, love the flooring in here. It is awesome. Floor to ceiling pantry over here. Yes, you might need a step stool to get to the top stuff. Don't put the things you need like a spoon and a fork up there. You're going to put uh, oddball stuff up there. Now, this power ceiling vent fan up here would normally be murder to get to if it weren't for the fact that they thought of that and inc included a wall uh, uh, controller for that. So it is easy to reach. Um, let's see here. Let's move back into the bathroom area. Again, I am moving quickly. I apologize. you got to understand, I can't do this thing proper justice in a quick 10 to 20 minute video. Can't. Like, we have a seamless shower right here with this uh, sliding glass door. And, and unless you are the world's tallest man and you're on stilts, you're never going to hit your head in here. But uh, uh, this has a seating area. Good for folks that maybe have reduced mobility. Ladies, if you need to sit down, shave your legs, you got a spot to do that. And check out the construction of this. I don't know how wonky the camera is going to get, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try to point this at my feet. Let's see how good we do. It's extreme, guys. This is heavily, heavily reinforced. It's not a walk-in shower, it's a jump-in shower, and it performs. Um, over here, we have either another massive floor-to-ceiling storage space, or we have a stackable potential washer-dryer space. It does have the pre-prep all built into that. Um, that's why the uh, panels here are slatted. Porcelain stool, of course. Um, again, we have a, uh, a, a wall control or a, a wall-controlled ceiling vent fan here. Now, this is really neat. Uh, you have lower accent lights in the bathroom and the bedroom. Notice that they're on the same switch. Now, when you walk in here, you know, this gives you the nice way to see into the bedroom at night. When you walk in, if you want to shut them off, there's a second switch. It's a lot like your house in that you could have two switches for one room. Um, the fifth slide here is actually this whole closet. All of this closet and entertainment space, pure storage in the slide out off the floor plan. That is what's giving us this huge comfortable walk around space and keep in mind it's big and comfortable and i have the drawers fully extended so you don't have to trip over anything um they're uh using an uh um sleep system uh what's the name i'm sorry it's upside down and i have been doing too much of this today uh long story short they're using a better type of mattress i can't even remember the name offhand um the uh you got his and hers closets maybe hers and hers closets and maybe his stuff can go down there i'm not sure but uh t tons of drawer space you have so much drawer space in here it's awesome even have uh, mom and dad or grandpa and grandma charging station for your devices here bedroom tv is on a swing arm though i don't know that it really needs to be because you're directly across from the bed with this thing station somebody asked us what's that new rear living that came in because they saw that giant window and assumed it had to be a rear living room how cool is that massive window in this thing if you want scenic views you got them if you want privacy you got that too because it does have blackout shades so if you want the privacy you got it and they are slow rise you see there so it's not going to just crash uh when you uh put the thing away um outlets 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 all over the place outlets over here so you can run cpap stands now this is the coolest thing this floor plan was designed with a king bed in mind there is actual walking space next to this. You don't have to do the travel trailer shuffle to try to get back here. They left your room. These are cool. Um, you've got two stage LED lights. If you want to read a book at night, kick on your blue, hold the button, and it gets bright as you see. So you can actually, you know, see around in the morning. Like if you're like me and you drop your phone between the headboard and the bed and you just want to cry because now you got to pull everything out to get it. That's, that's the kind of person I am. Anyway. Um, also, we have this extra, uh, just massive alcove over here. All of those extra blankets, extra sweatshirts and towels and all those things you rarely need but can't live without, that's where those go. This is the monster, guys. This thing does it all. It does it all well. 
you have privacy, you have gorgeous space, you have massive storage, you have everything you want, wherever you want, whenever you want it. It is amazing. You have nothing to complain about in this one. You have no reason not to give us a call. <laughs> so give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.